Hey yo, Slating's back, and we're going to talk about electronics and pickups in part two of the build your own bass, Fender style bass video. Um, lots of people have uh, lots of different views on pickups because, let's face it, pickups are the name of the game in any electric instrument, be it guitar, bass, or anything else. Uh, a different pickup can completely change the way the instrument feels and sounds. Um, if you cross uh, forums frequently, uh, people always get, uh, you know, raving reviews of the latest pickup uh, fad, you know. Every, the, every now and then there's some types of pickups that are very popular. Um, and they're most of the time they're very boutique, high-end uh, pickups. I don't buy all that uh, simply because I'm a no-nonsense player. I don't want to spend too much money on my instruments because I don't think it's necessary. Uh, history is paved by different musicians who don't have thousand bucks instruments. So anyway, I narrowed the shows down to the three uh, most well-known uh, pickup uh, makers which are EMG, DiMarzio and Simo Duncan. Uh, vir you can virtually get any style of pickup you want from those three makers. Um, for the vintage stuff I really like Simo Duncan. That's what I have in my black and white uh, f funk machine style bass. I have the SPB-1 uh, which is uh, basically the same thing that is uh, exactly the same thing um, that what would be found in a real vintage P bass and I know that from experience because uh, I know a player who has a actual 63 P bass and one day the pickup died on him and he replaced it with uh, the SPB one, this particular pickup, and he said uh, it sounds exactly the same. So I mean, come on, if if someone who has an actual 63 changes the pickup for uh, let's say a 70 bucks pickup and finds it sounds the same, I don't see the need for getting a 300 pickup. Um, these are very popular. You can get a get them off eBay for real cheap, like let's say forty or fifty bucks, and it's a steal. I mean, the pickups are really great. Um, then, if you want something a little bit more powerful and a little bit more aggressive, but still passive, uh, I'd recommend the Dimartios. Uh Dimartios don't have no. Uh, vintage correct or period correct uh, sounding pickups, but they have real classics. Uh, uh, the Gimaggio model P is an absolute classic. You can see dozens and dozens and dozens of 70s and 80s videos of live uh, bootlegs where players have these pickups in white, uh, either the model P or the model J. Uh, you know, Bernard it was had some of these, uh, for example, in his P bass. Um, they were made in cream or white, and they were the first replacement pickups ever made. So people would see at once if the pickup was a Dimaggio or not because it was white. Uh, I love those pickups. I have one in a P bass I built uh, that was built for rock. And they sound great. I mean, incredible output, uh, very musical tone, very full tone. The problem is they don't have no thump. Uh, they don't have that, <coughs> you know, sound that you will definitely find in the SPB-1 pickup. Uh, so if you want to play rock or metal, I definitely recommend that. Or if you want to play funk, you know, with that dirty... A uh, very particular sound of the late 70s, very mid rangey sound. Go for the Model P or Model J. Uh, if you play a jazz bass, I'll definitely re recommend the Ultra Jazz. Jazz bass uh, pickups that are found in uh, Sadowski basses uh, are very close to the Ultra Jazz in that the 
the modules factory are building the pickups that you could find in a uh, Sandowski base. I have a friend who had a 70s uh, low suit Ibanez base, which is a real beauty. Um, and he replaced the original pickups by those pickups, uh, the Ultra Jazz set. And they sound killer, man. Um, really have that uh, modern vintage uh, kind of sound, very bright, very uh, Marcus Millerish, uh, if you if you know what I'm saying, and still passive. Uh, and then you've got active pickups. Um, I love active pickups uh, for modern tones uh, or you know that hi-fi kind of tone, that big big bass right in your face, the sound, the tone that you can compress a lot and uh, the tone that make um, engineers happy you know sound engineers are real happy with that kind of tone I choose the MGP in my old black bass because they have a lot of attitude to them uh, they are being issued in 79 and uh, I believe it's the pickup that uh, Reddit Freddy Washington had uh, in his P bass when he used to play with Patrice Rochelle on hits like you know um, forget me nots I mean what a, it's it's an amazing bass tone on, on right here um, these pickups are active so that means you'd have to put a 9 volt battery in your bass uh, I carved the my I, I carved my bass with a knife <laughs> uh, to put the the 9 volt battery uh, but they are very I mean of all those uh, three different makers um, the quality you get from an EMG pickup is amazing. You know, I know I'm no EMG sales rep in any way, but you have everything you need. You have the parts. You have uh, everything is a is a complete package, and they're dead easy to assemble. There's no need to solder anything other than a jack. Uh, really great quality overall. I love these pickups for that. Uh, and virtually. I don't. I'm not afraid to play anything with those pickups. Whereas if I play, let's say, uh, the Vintage uh, SPB1 pickup, um, it's not gonna fit in, e in any style, in every style. Uh, sorry, of music, uh, it's gonna be either too bassy or not, uh, not precise enough, you know. But it's great for playing soul music or for playing salsa music. It's it's, in, it's the best, virtually the best kind of pickup. Uh, so my take on this is you could get uh, virtually pickups from like uh, you know the, the brands uh, that are very hyped uh, at the moment like uh, let's say you know Strain or Lola or, or I don't know but I'd, I, I've tried bases with boutique pickups and I didn't find the the let's say maybe a boutique pickup is about 250 bucks uh, you could get this kind of pickup, this very pickup, uh, for 50 bucks on eBay. This one for the same price. The set would be like a hundred. Uh, the MGP kit is about a uh, hundred, uh, hundred thirty new. So th this is actually cheap, um, and they sound great. I mean, I've seen countless players using these simple. No nonsense, no flashy, you know, equipment, and that's all you need. So anyway, that's just my to round it up. If you want a vintage tone, get Slimodon cans, you know, uh, normal line, uh, not the antiquity. I mean, it's just basically the same thing with uh, a two hundred uh, price. <laughs> you know, get the the baselines SPB or SJB one. Uh, if you want the vintage tone, if you want uh, more of a late 70s, early 80s, but still passive tone, get the Model P or Model J. If you want that uh, modern jazz bass tone, uh, use the Ultra Jazz. And if you want really some powerful uh, bass tone that is really uh, aggressive, really precise, and uh, you know that that just hits your face, use the EMGs. And don't forget about the parts if you use passive pickups. Uh, use CDS or Alpha parts, either 250 for the vintage sound or 500 for a brighter, more modern sound. I hope you'll build yourself some great bases. Peace out.